Hi there, and welcome to an unboxing of Imagineers Deluxe Edition. Uh, Imagineers is a board game about building a theme park. Uh, it was kickstarted at the tail end of 2018. And as you can see, as I say, we've got the Deluxe Edition here. So let's get into it. So, first things first. There we go, got a nice double fronted sleeve on this. There we go, let's get rid of that. And there's the standard box sleeve, the uh, front. Oh, let's get in there. So I say, this is by Maple Games. It plays one to four players. It takes under an hour to play. And it says it's for ages 10 plus. So here we go, we have a rule book, very useful in, and some solo play rules, excellent. In multiple languages, by the looks things. We have, I think this was supposed to be origami paper, so you could make something out of uh, origami paper if you'd like. Excellent. Uh, we've got some some stickers that you can put on all your meeples. Uh, very nice as well. And some other stickers for Maple Games. So I think this here is part of the deluxe uh, extras. So we have basically two different sets of parks. So. Each uh, player will be building a different coloured theme park, so this adds two extra players. Uh, one of them, by the looks of things, is ghost themed, western themed, maybe, I don't know. Perhaps. Uh, and these are the standard for, so th oh, this is definitely ghost themed. And then that is, oh, they're all falling out. So these are our six park tiles. Ooh, they are all for. So we've got a Candyland one, Pirates. Uh, what's that over there? That's uh, some industrial type stuff. Spooky Ghosts. Western, I'm going to say. That's probably a Western. And lastly, some kind of fantasy mushroom kingdom. Excellent. So, they'll. Get rid of those. Boom. So what else do we have? We have, so these, so I probably should explain, uh, during the course of the game, you will have the board over here. Which I'll just quickly pop in the middle for now. Oh, it's a big old board, isn't it? So yeah, this is the board, and all of the players will be building their different attractions on the same board. So you have these little tokens here to denote which player it is who is in control of each attraction. So that's what those are. This here is the sink, uh, first player marker, which actually you actually get a little lanyard to wear um, with the deluxe edition, so you can sit there with a lanyard on if you're the first player, which is a bit a bit different. Pop that over there for now. What else we got? So these are some of the attractions. So the attractions themselves come in three different flavors. Let's get them both there. So first off, you have water attractions, family attractions, and the red ones are the thrill seeker attractions. And each of these are double-sided. So the front side has an attraction on it and the other side has roller coaster bits on it. So the idea is these tiles can either be played attraction side up, in which case you'll place them on the board, or you'll place them um, as a roller coaster, in which case they'll actually go onto your little player board in front of you where you can place them onto these spaces here to make your roller coaster better, which is quite cool. What else we got here? We have, so these are your roller coaster entrances, a couple more attractions, uh, and then these are markers, and then a couple of path tokens where you can place them over bits and bobs where if you don't have the right number of players, basically you'll remove a few attractions from the board. Uh, and there's another first player marker if you just, if you don't want to wear a lanyard, and then say some more of these name tokens. What else do we have in the box? We have a nice little bag there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Very nice and Soft deck of cards. Let's have a look at these. So the game itself has two different decks of cards that you'll be using. So there'll be a movement deck and an event deck. 
um, because when the board is set up properly, there'll be meeples all around the path on the board. And what you'll be doing is you'll be using in two languages as well. Do, 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 do. There we go. So that's the English ones, and this is French. There we go. Let's get rid of the French ones for now. Do, do, do. There we go. Movement gone. I have no idea what these are. Perhaps there's something from the deluxe edition. But yeah, as I say, so you'll be basically be moving groups of meeples around the park. And if their colours match up with the colours on your rides over here, you'll earn yourself some points, which is how you always win a video, uh, a board game. And video games as well, for that matter. What else we got here? So here we have the event deck. So every turn you'll have one movement card and you'll also have a um, event card which will basically switch things up a little bit every round of the game um, yeah and then you have your last round token as well which is all very nice what else we got so yeah these are our meeples these will all be ooh, nice little meeples these will all be Scattered around the park. I have no idea what that purple chap does. Uh, the other ones match the um, the different ride types. So that's good. What have we got? So these are your little how to play. So we've got um, on your turn, you'll basically place one of your tiles down as either a roller coaster or an attraction, or you can discard one. You can take one of these actions where you can just gain some money or whatever. So every player has one of those as well. And lastly, we have these, which are your little point markers and money markers and fame markers. So that's all very nice. And yeah, that is the entirety of Imagineers. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll probably do a bit more content on this, maybe do a little solo playthrough just in case you weren't aware this is being filmed while we're all in lockdown and can't get anyone round to play these things. So, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a solo one. As I say, this is... Oh, I just realised. One last little thing here. This is a dirt token. So this is mechanically you can put a bunch of dirt somewhere and move all of your meeples. So you just pop a little cone down. It's quite nice. Um, where was it? Yeah, so... Probably do a little solo playthrough of this at some point. Um, see what it's like. As I say, this is the first video I've ever done. So this is probably the worst video I'll ever do. So if you got this far through it, thank you for sticking around. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful in some way. And take care.